Back to the judge. Well, I was sort of hoping he would say no new taxes, no new spending, no new borrowing. Draw a line in the sand. Dream. Do what you were sent there to Dream do. Dream on, Judge. Right. Dream on. Right. I mean, They're becoming enablers of, of Obama spending us into oblivion. We, but you he, want to he, talk about food. And he bread. is going to take questions. There, there are several Republicans who are speaking as of right now, making statements about these cliff negotiations. If John Boehner takes any questions, we'll go straight back to it. But we're going to concentrate on Speaker Boehner because he's the principal negotiator. Right. And I didn't make much of that, Frank, frankly, and I don't no, think you did no, either. No, no, I was disappointed that he didn't, uh, he didn't make a counter offer or didn't say, here's what we will do, here's what we will never do. But should he be negotiating in public in front of the cameras like that? Well, the president, the president is, and every time the president does it, it gins up the president's people. How about ginning up the people who believe the government should shrink, not grow? Well, Those are the ones who sent you there, Mr. Speaker. Well, what you're saying is do not cave on anything, right? I mean, that's, that's well, your position. Well, not anything substantial. Don't retreat, obviously, obviously, you can compromise on things that are not substantial, but new taxes, new borrowing, and new spending are substantial. Would you view. be prepared to see the Republicans take the blame, and they will get the blame, if we fail to get an agreement and we go into recession? Well, if they know how to deal, this, deal with this properly, they won't get the blame because the so-called fiscal cliff is a piece of legislation you, enacted by a Republican House, a Democratic Senate, and signed by a Democratic president. You they can't, can't lay it at the feet of the Republicans. You cannot fight the establishment media, which is unified in blaming the Republicans. My dear Stuart. My dear Stuart. What? We work for an entity that for 16 years has successfully fought the establishment media called Fox. Of course you can okay. take them on. You give me your, come all around the table, you give me your honest judgment. You really think that if we go over the cliff, there's no agreement, and we go into recession, the Republicans will not get the blame. You think well, they think will they not will get, get the blame? blame because they don't know how to defend but, themselves. But they, will, they don't but, know how to point the they, finger at the president who couldn't get a budget through a Democratic House and a Democratic Senate. They're politicians, they're Republicans, and they will get the blame. Do you agree with that? They still, will get the blame? It's still Obama's last term and it's still the success of that term is still on his shoulders and i think the republicans will be at large to blame however he's still the president if we go into recession under his watch we can still blame him thank you sandra um look <laughs> i'm sorry i know you got a lot going on i missed that. There's all kinds of stuff in my Peter ear was talking you to you listening? no he was not <laughs> here's what i think republicans if we go over the cliff we enter a recession, the economy slows down, Republicans get the blame short term. They'll just pile the blame right on them. However, within a year, it will be seen as Obama's recession. There you go. And it will may just ruin his second term. There you go. That's so what they, I think. They really should not I agree with thinking that necessarily the timeline. All right. Um, I'm sorry we got such little time there, Judge. Quite all right. Quite all right. I got to jump in on something more substantial yes, than you did. whether I can eat pizza while I'm driving. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute. I was curious about the answer. Yeah. <laughs> 